Uncle Bill hardly remembers you, you know that? I asked him what you were like as a little girl and he couldn't even say. He remembers Grandma even less. He didn't even have one interesting story about her. About Grandma. They don't have a single picture of her either, not even in their minds. To them, she's just a woman who lived a big embarrassing life. They all think they've saved me just in time. Not just from Grandma, from you too. So I started wondering if they weren't right. Maybe the smartest thing would be for me to forget you completely. And Grandma. After all, what did I ever get from the two of you except a good education? You especially. What were you ever to me except a voice on the phone now and then? And I looked around the new room where I was staying and it was real nice and blank. The way a thing is before you put any time into it. I thought I could live a whole new life here. I could invent a whole new life. I could fit in. I don't mean I'd become like Whitney and Beth. I'm not that crazy, but I could become like a Robinson Crusoe and adapt myself to a strange and harsh environment. I could live in a kind of desert. I could even flourish like you have. I could live without the one thing I wanted, but I kept hearing your voice. That voice on the phone, hiding behind spelling words, making excuses, or so energetic sometimes, so wishing. I don't even remember what you said, just the sound of it. Just a sound that said, I love you and I failed you. I hate that sound. And I will never settle for it because no one failed me. No one ever failed me, not grandma and not you. I am a prize among women. I'm your daughter. <laughs>